Right now, wispy lash sets are seriously trending. So as the artist, we have to figure out how to give that to our clients in the most effective and fastest way possible. A lot of these trending styles call for spikes, also known in the industry as unfanned lashes, wet lashes, and closed fans. So as the artist, we have to give what the client wants and we have to get used to creating these spikes for our clients. The technique necessary to create these spikes can be a little bit tedious. It takes a while to get used to unfanning your lashes. But we here at Lost Artistry have just launched your new best friend. Lost Artistry's pre-made spikes. Spikes that are created for you. So all you have to do is place them just like you would a classic lash. Crazy, no more fanning. You're gonna be saving so much time during services and your spikes are always going to look perfect. I remember in the beginning when I started creating wet lash fans, AKA spikes, I would find that the tips would kind of separate a little bit and my spikes just weren't perfectly peaked all the time. It takes a lot of effort to make that happen. So I am super excited to work with this product and I'm actually gonna be doing a set today on a client so you can see the outcome of exactly what these pre-made spikes look like. We carry these spikes from lengths seven all the way to 20 millimeter. You're probably like, what? I've never used 20 millimeter, but trust me, once you get into the crazy world of texture, 20 millimeter isn't as crazy, especially when you need those spikes to stand out and be the focal point of your set. Longer lengths are key when you're working with spiked, especially when you're working with anime sets or strip lash looks. But you can also tone it down with wet lashes, which is exactly why we carry all the way down to seven millimeter. In every single tray, there's 800 spikes, which means that you can get at least four sets out of every single one of these trays. And eight plus fills, that is crazy. That makes your product cost only about $10 per set. And think about how much time you're saving when you're just whipping through your services. So with any new product, you need to know great product combos. So a couple of my favorites when working with our pre-made spikes are our J-Curve Tweezer. Really easy, it has a nice sweet spot, but also a really good pointed tip, which makes picking up anywhere from the tip all the way to the back of the tweezer great when you're working with these spikes. I also like using a faster cure time adhesive when I'm working with the spikes, especially in comparison to when I'm working with my handmade fans because I work a lot faster when I'm placing the spikes than I would my handmade fan. So my glue choice is Wiki Adhesive. It's Lost Artistry's one second cure time glue. It gives just enough time to place and direct, even if I have clients who have challenging natural lashes. But if you feel like you're even faster and you like to work with a 0.5 second cure time, we also have Bondage Pro. I'm a little bit spoiled with glues. I like to have two on hand. So for my clients who I speed through really, really fast, I do seem to gravitate more towards that Bondage Pro. Okay, enough about the products. Even though I'm obsessed, I could talk about them all day. Let's get into the set. But first, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you're always notified when Lost Artistry posts brand new lash content. mentioned for this set I am working with our pre-made spikes but for the look that Anna's going for today for her fill we also need a volume base so here is the inspiration photo as you can see it's quite full at the base with open fans and on the top the emphasis area are those spikes so we're going to use the spikes for the longer lengths and for the base we're going to use a mix of 3d short stem pre-made fans lengths eight to 11. And then also we're gonna mix in for some more density, some 9D mid stem fans from lengths 10 to 12 millimeter. The nice thing about mixing small dimension prefans with higher dimension prefans is that every single lash can be lashed and 3D is my absolute go-to for this. You can mix 3D in any set, doesn't matter if it's a natural set, 
or a dramatic mega volume set, 3D is amazing. And a fun thing about our 3D short stems right now is that they're actually on clearance. We're moving warehouses and we need to get rid of some of our overflow products before we move. So snatch these up while you can, you can use them in any set. They're great fillers, even if it's not the focal point of the set. Thank you.